Hey everyone, this video is about why I started learning Next.js and why you should at least take a look at it as well. Next.js is a React framework created by Vercel to build high quality web applications with the power of React components. This video is going to talk about why uh, Next.js makes developing AI based, large language model based web applications super quick. I think this just is the best framework. And I will try to compare it to Fast API, Django, uh, HTMX, and Streamlit. First of all, there are so many React component libraries, such as Chat, CN, UI. Uh, everything looks beautiful. It's straightforward. I'm not going to say it's the easiest framework to learn, but it is straightforward and it's easy to get started, at least. All you need is Node.js installed, and then you just call this command and create an application. For example, I was able to create this application uh, in just under 20 minutes using the Versal AI SDK, which we are going to talk about shortly with conversation histories and everything. So Next.js is a full, great framework. Probably the comparison with Django shouldn't be uh, too uh, unreasonable. The main reason that I prefer Next.js is the Versal AI SDK, AI framework for TypeScript. TypeScript is pretty much just good old fashioned JavaScript with strong type definitions, like using Pydantic and Python. And it also has a page a, uh, folder based API structure and uh, route structure. Pretty much you define your API routes and your page routes by creating uh, folders. So you don't have to explicitly define them in the uh, code itself. So the Vercel AI SDK in conjunction with Next.js super simplifies the uh, frame the building with uh, building for AI applications. Uh, for example, all you really need is this uh, right here, this code, which I already have in my route.ts. And this will handle any calls to, for example, open AI models with streaming responses. That's it. This is all you need. And if I were to copy this page.tsx, the main page UI, and just paste it here, and uh, I just then have a very simple interface talking with the GPT for uh, just super simple. Everything uh, is short, it's, it's abstracted. So, uh, I mean, Next.js do have quite a lot of abstractions. So that is the, that does make the learning process a little bit steep. Now, uh, another uh, reason is the V0. This is again powered by Vercel. This is a this is a chat-like tool that allows you to generate UI React components powered by Shetzian. For example, let's uh, click to do uh, e-commerce dashboard, and in real time, these entire pages are generated for us. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. And then the code is ready here in a moment. And the thing is that once you have the code, you don't even have to deal with copy pasting and installing Shatsi and components. There's an actual command that you can copy and paste and run. And then you'll, you'll actually have your uh, components ready uh, and installed. And it produces three different outputs as well, and then you can actually iterate on it. So the combination of Next.js with the Vercel AI SDK and Vercel V0, I think bar none, makes this the best framework to build, uh, the fastest framework to build. So now let's talk about some of the caveat. As you know, in the past, I covered Streamlit, Fast API, HTMX, and I actually built some personal projects with Django. If you wanted to find out about them, you can go to my website, echoive.live, search for HTMX or Fast API or for or for Streamlit, and you can take a look at those. And they, they're all wonderful frameworks. Uh, but Streamlit is really limited. Honestly, this is just to build like quick apps, right? You can't really build full-blown web applications with it. Fast API is fantastic, especially with asynchronous operations. 
but it's really difficult to build a full-blown web application with like you know uh, user management dashboards you can uh, you absolutely can but it just takes a lot of extra effort and Django is amazing it's like this fully featured thing that comes with dashboard management and everything but it doesn't play well with async and all pretty much all LLM applications require async now HTMX is very interesting but the state management becomes an issue uh, and Next.js being based on React actually handles the state management of a website, like when a user is logged in or all kinds of other complex state management is a breeze using use state and use effect hooks. And at the end of the day, if you know Python, right, you're the great place. Uh, JavaScript is very similar to Python. Uh, Next.js is based on JavaScript and TypeScript is based on JavaScript. I think you should Definitely get, get yourself familiarized with Next.js. I think it's the it's going to be one of the major players in building, especially AI-powered applications. And looking into the future, it seems to me that most applications are going to have one, one way or another some AI components. Also, when you use Next.js, there are all these services such as Clerk, like authentication solution, magic links, social links, multi-factor authentication. It's just literally, I actually implemented this in a toy project. And literally they say, they say it takes under five minutes and this is no joke. You actually follow this quick uh, instructions and then you have entire uh, authentication with fat password reset and everything set up. And there are also quite a lot of administrative dashboards available for Next.js. And like I said, everything looks more beautiful uh, with Next.js. So there's quite a lot of options available too. Well, soon I already covered how to make a very simple chat app that I you in my first video on Next.js. You can watch. I also uh, added a detailed uh, how I built detailed video or and project files for this uh, web app that I built with uh, history tracking. So multiple histories of conversations are saved. And that is available in my 1000x masterclass. I highly recommend you consider like a, uh, taking a look at this. This is, this is available for my patrons. That project, the Next.js project is the project nine, project files and the video. In my 1000x masterclass, I try to teach how I use the AI tools, especially the cursor IDE, to code faster and more efficiently. So take a look at it. I add to this on a, a regular fashion, at a regular schedule, or I should say I add to it regularly. Link for this will be uh, at my page, uh, link to this will be in the description. So I'll be making more videos on uh, Next.js. If you are interested in learning Next.js, I'll try to make it the transition easier. I believe there's two ways you can learn Next.js when I first started. So let me just put it this way. Next.js is based on React and React is based on JavaScript. So I originally started with learning HTML and JavaScript and a little bit of React, and then I eventually went, moved on to Next.js. But this was a slow process for me because I wasn't really rushing anything. I started learning all this stuff like last November, starting with HTML and React, JavaScript. You can just find some YouTube videos, just get yourself familiarized. Of course, you're going to use AI-powered tools to help you code this stuff. When I was learning, I used Scrimba. They have many free courses here. This is a great place to learn JavaScript, HTML, and React. And now once you get familiarized with those, Next.js shouldn't feel that much more difficult. So you can actually take the deep path where you start from scratch and dedicate many hours, or you can dive straight into Next.js and learn everything necessary along the way. So my videos will hopefully uh, help you, uh, guide you in the right direction, uh, including the one that I made and the future ones. Do let me know what you think. I hope. Uh, I was able to explain why I think Next.js is a powerful tool, uh, mainly because it simplifies quite a lot of the work, uh, plus the Vercel AI SDK combined with V0, uh, Vercel's V0 component generation system. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.